let me just, in, in closing, associate myself with the ranking member's uh, remarks uh, in terms of the seriousness of these, these uh, charges and indictments and convictions. Uh, federal law enforcement uh, bribes taken by TSA to improperly screen luggage. Now, first of all, stealing personal belongings uh, as people go through these screeners all the time and scanners, and yet the idea that TSA uh, officials are stealing personal property. But beyond that is the national security implications. You know, the idea that, that a TSA officer would take a bribe uh, to allow thousands of pieces of luggage to go through improperly screened, uh, or to allow uh, drug trafficking organizations to have unfettered access. Uh, this is precisely what the terrorists are looking for. Uh, ICE providing, you know, fraudulent documentation. You know, all these cases that we look at, are, they're trying to get things through airports, improper screening, improper documentation, it's exactly what they're trying to exploit. You know, and then, of course, CBP, you know, taking bribes from drug cartel organizations. Um, and given the seriousness of this, I, I do first want to say thank you to CBP for, uh, Mr. Winkowski, for you showing up at the policy level. But I, I, I do want to express my extreme disappointment uh, that TSA and ICE, given these al the allegations, and not just allegations, but proven fact, uh, did not bring forth the policy level witnesses that we requested. So it sends a signal to the Congress that either they're, they're not taking it very seriously uh, or these officials are just trying to hide from the American people. Uh, and so I, I, I'm not very happy with that. I, I, again, associate myself with the ranking member uh, with his remarks. And with that, the committee stands adjourned.